Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. In today's video, I am bringing you my June TBR. So we're gonna cue the usual intro and I'm gonna be like, I can't believe it's June because I really cannot believe that it's June. I swear, I don't honestly know where this year has gone but June is a very exciting month. There's some things coming up that I'm super pumped about. Book Bonanza is in just over three weeks and I could not be more excited. This is a long time coming. I get to meet some of my friends. I get to meet new people. I get to meet authors. I get to go to Texas. I get to do all the things and I'm super, super excited. This Canuck is leaving. She's getting out of Dodge. We're out of here. So super excited for that. And yeah, it's just gonna be so nice to have a vacation and like hang out and do all the things and hang out with people that have you know the same interests it's always a good thing so in today's video I'm gonna be going through my June TBR do not mind me I'm probably gonna have my computer because it's got all my notes and stuff in it but I'm excited for this month there are some new releases there's also a thriller and it's just really exciting you know like I'm hitting all the tropes that I'm usually like such a sucker for so I'm really really like pumped to get into this month so without further ado we're just just gonna dive on in. So first up is our Out of Bounds book club pick for June, and we are going to be reading The Wicked by Rosie Alice. I have been eyeing up Rosie for a while because she does some designs for Dark and Disturbed, and I also found out that she wrote these books. So I started to kind of follow this series, the Sin series. Someone else had recommended me the first book in the series a while back. It's called The Star. So I've had that on my TBR for a while. And then she recently released a synopsis for The Wicked. And it's a teacher student where she's older, he's younger, and apparently it's just toxic but it's toxic on both ends it's not just one of them and it's just feels like everything that we're all about here at Out of Bounds so I was super excited to come across that and McKay and I both checked it out and we were like yes let's do it this is it for June we're so pumped we'd be so thrilled if you could join us we're having our live show at the end of June we posted the information on our Instagram channel so please feel free to go check that out and we'd love to have you next up is Reckless by Elsie Silver I can't wait for this book. I literally can't wait. This comes out on June 9th. This is, what is this? Book four in the Chestnut Spring series. And this one is all about winter. And winter is Summer, the heroine in the first book. It's her sister. And this is going to be her love story. And the tropes in this are crazy. Now, usually these, some of these tropes don't usually work for me. Like surprise pregnancy certainly doesn't work for me. I'm all about the secret baby though. I love a good like mafia secret baby. So, but I really do have a lot of faith in Elsie Silver to kind of bring this to fruition to kind of like make this right and this one follows winter and it also follows Theo who is also from the first book you saw him in flawless and he is kind of like his muse like his mentor so we got some kind of scenes with him in the first book and apparently this has got it all like I just can't wait I'm so excited I'm so ready for another Elsie Silver book and I cannot wait so when June 9th rolls around you can bet that my Kindle will be locked and loaded. Next up, we have What We Broke by Marley Valentine. I am a huge fan of Marley Valentine. She writes the most emotionally beautiful MM romances. And this one sounds like it's not going to be any exception to that. This one was really flying high on my radar. And then I saw my friend Caitlin from The Love Librarian gush about this book. And I was like, I am absolutely sold. So this is an MM marriage and trouble book where they, you know, fell head over heels and they were kind of opposite at first one wanted one more than the other I think but then they made it work and they fell deeply in love until something broke them apart and I think now they're living separately and it's just sounds like it's full of angst and full of emotion and second chance is like literally my kryptonite okay like if it's angsty enough like second chance is just superior to me it's everything I love it so much I'm so excited to jump back into Marley Valentine's book she's such an exceptional writer and I'm super excited and the most exciting thing is that this book will be coming out today when this video is uploaded on June 1st which is super exciting so I cannot wait to jump into that one so next up is Ghost by A. Zavarelli this is book three in her Boston Underworld series I picked A. Zavarelli back up last month when I read Contempt and I just was super amped to get back into some world that she has written. So the Boston Underworld series follows a group of Irish mafia men and the third book follows Talia who is Mackenzie Mack 
from the first book, the heroine. It's her friend that she was looking for. This is her friend's story. And this one is a very, very dark book. I think it's darker than the other ones and it might be darker than the ones after. This one definitely has a trigger warning in it for trafficking. So I am definitely going in and bracing myself, but I'm really excited to kind of step back into this world. This is one series that has definitely kept my attention and I'm really, really excited to keep it going. I love a good mafia. I love a good dark tale. So we'll see how this goes, but I really do trust Aza Varelli's writing. I think she's absolutely incredible and I'm excited to kind of continue on in this series. If you haven't read some of the Boston Underworld series, you should definitely check out Crow and Reaper. They're both fantastic books with really, really, really good heroines. So next up I have Torrid by Nikki Sloan. This is book two in the Sorted duet. The first book is Sorted. This book follows Luca, the hero from the first book. It follows his brother and I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce his name because I'm going to get it wrong, but it follows him and he is a high up mafia man. He, I believe it's the Serbian mafia and it's set in Chicago and it follows him and his like rise to kind of fame and his reign of control over the city. And he meets this woman in a group of women that are set to be trafficked. This is another one that has trigger warnings in it for trafficking. And little does he know that the woman that he comes across, he's taken by her and he takes her under his wing and he's like, she's mine, that whole possessive alphabet. But little does he know that she's actually trying to infiltrate him. Like she's trying to infiltrate the mob and get some sort of answers. There's some sort of mystery there. So I'm really excited. This has been on my TBR for so long. Like I literally read Sorted, I think like two years ago, and I was really really going to read Torrid, but it, you know what? That's just my mood reading days. You know, I'm a moody hoe. That's just how it works. But I'm really excited to kind of tie up some loose ends. So really, really amped to kind of get into this. And Nikki Sloan is going to be a book bonanza and I just really want to read more by her. So super excited to jump into this one. Next up, I have Forever Right Now by Emma Scott. I'm a massive fan of Emma Scott. She just can make me feel all the feels in a very quick amount of time. Her writing is just deep and raw and I just look forward to devouring her backlist. This one follows a young woman who kind of got on the wrong side of the tracks and she got sent to jail for drug possession and then they release her. And she decides that she wants a fresh start. So she moves to San Francisco and she wants to kind of like resurrect her dancing career. She used to be a dancer. She wants to start over, have a fresh clean slate. So she kind of goes about doing that and then she ends up coming across and meeting this guy, I think. He's a single dad and I think he's trying to become a lawyer. And so they kind of, he has, I think initially he has no time for her. He wants nothing to do with her but he has a little daughter he's stressed out and I think eventually they work out some sort of a thing where she starts to maybe look after his daughter for him or something but then something happens and they really have to rely on each other I just really need the emotional energy that is Emma Scott I'm just really craving it this month I just need to kind of like curl up into a ball into one of her book worlds and get lost in her stories because she's so cool like I just can't she's another one I just cannot wait to meet and I'm slowly ticking my way through her backlist so I'm super excited excited to read this one and just get lost. So next up, I've got The Four Leaf by Lee Jacko. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Ah, I've had this one on my TBR for so long. This sounds to be like a very naughty little novella and a novella is the energy that I need this month with everything that is going on. But this one I think is about two best friends. One of them made a move on the other one and it ended in like a rejection. And then many years have passed, but they're still kind of in each other's orbits and they have like a platonic relationship until it's not platonic. And apparently this has got great BDSM. It's got great primal play. I'm all here for that. I want all the smutty fun times. And I really am definitely in the mood for a novella. And I really want to read something by Lee Jacko. I've never read anything by her and I've heard nothing but great things. So so we will see how this one turns out. Then last up on the list, I've got She Started It by Cian or Cyan Gilbert. This is a new thriller that is releasing on June 13th. And this one follows a group of friends that get invited by their other friend to her bachelorette party. And it sounds like it's going to be divine. They're very stoked to go. There has been some kind of past stuff that's happened between them, but they're willing to go and have a good time in typical thriller fashion. And I'll just read a little part. It says the first class flight and the island accommodations are just as opulent as expected even if the scenic island proves more remote than they anticipated 
quite remote in fact, with no cell service and no other guests, the women quickly discover they've underestimated Poppy and each other. And as their darkest secrets are revealed, the tropical adventure morphs into a terrifying nightmare. Wow. Very exciting. I haven't read a thriller in a while and I'm really excited to kind of get lost in one again. I love wearing a detective hat. It's my thing. I love to try and figure out what's going to happen next. I'm super excited for it. I'm really excited to check out uh, Cian Gilbert. She's a new author to me, so super pumped about that. So those are all of the books that I have on my June TBR. What is one book you're looking forward to reading this month? Are we reading any of the same books? Hit me up in the comments and let me know. If you liked this video, I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up. If you've hung around and stuck with me this long, I'd love it if you could throw a rose down in the comments. I love roses and I love all of you. So please throw one down in the comments for me. Let me know what you'd like to see next for me. If you ever have any video ideas, just shoot them my way. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.